Hello and Happy New Year. Welcome to 2022. Uh, Mayor Roslyn Bliss here giving you just a brief update as we enter the new year. There's a lot of exciting things that are happening uh, over the next several months. I guess I'll start with that. Uh, I hope you are staying warm out there as we enter this winter season. I know we had a little bit of snow last year, but nothing like what we're experiencing now. So I hope you're staying warm and safe, but I also hope that you're planning to get out and enjoy the season. There's lots happening uh, that you can do. Get out and enjoy sledding or skiing or snowshoeing. Um, here in the city, we have some activities that you can participate in out at Indian Trails or at some of our, our parks. There's some great sledding hills. Uh, and then we kicked off World of Winter last weekend. Uh, so this is a two and a half month event. Uh, goes through the middle of March and there will be a lot of activities downtown, throughout downtown. There's some beautiful public art pieces that you can come and experience. So I hope you wrap up, bundle up and get outside and enjoy this season. I always say that we are a four season city and I hope people embrace that. Um, as we look at the year ahead, a couple things happening here at City Hall that I'm excited about. One is that we'll be moving forward with our affordable housing fund. So that board has been uh, or is in the process of being put in place. We've started to transfer dollars to that fund and hopefully within uh, the next few months we'll have some recommendations on how those dollars can be spent to help support our affordable housing efforts. Um, we're also in the midst of launching the participatory budgeting process. So uh, we'll have a portal available where you can start to provide ideas on how you hope to see those dollars spent. Again, these are $2 million worth of funds that the City Commission set aside, a million for the third ward, um, $600,000 for the first ward, and $400,000 for the second ward. And we'll be working in partnership with community to come up with ideas on how those dollars should be spent to make our neighborhoods a better place for everyone. So stay tuned for additional information on that, but I really hope that you engage in that process and add to the conversation. Um, two final things, uh, our police, or I shouldn't say that, our police chief, almost said police department, but it's our police chief, uh, will soon be retiring. So again, I wanna thank Chief Payne for all of his years of service here at the police department. Um, we're in the process of hiring a new police chief. That decision will be made by our city manager, uh, but he'll be including uh, the community uh, in a couple forums to hear from you. So later on this week, our city manager will be announcing the finalists for that position. Uh, stay tuned for that. And then there'll be an opportunity for you to get to know those final candidates and weigh in and give your feedback to the city manager before a final decision is made. Uh, and then last, our fire department, uh, they are working on updating their strategic plan. So just recently, they put out a survey, uh, another opportunity for you to weigh in and give your input into the uh, fire department's strategic plan and what they wanna see over the next five years. So you can go to the city's website and find that survey and uh, answer a few questions and they'll take that information into account as they move forward with finalizing their their strategic plan. Uh, so with that, I hope you have a great rest of the month and I look forward to the year ahead.